Hello and welcome back to the Air Armoury, I'm JRH and today I'm going to be testing Gamo's Whisper Technology. Before I do anything, it makes sense to first look at what Gamo's Whisper technology is. So to assess me with that, I have their 2014 catalogue, which has a double page spread explaining it. Uh, Gamo have developed a number of air rifles which have integrated sound moderators uh, in different variants, namely the Bull Whisper, uh, which as the name suggests has a bull barrel, the Standard Whisper, which has an integrated uh, moderator at the end of the muzzle and the Whisper Fusion which looks essentially to be a combination of the two. Now the one I'm going to be putting on test today is the standard Whisper um, about which Gamo say the Whisper technology from Gamo consists of a rifled steel barrel with a fluted polymer jacket and integrated with a sound moderator in the muzzle. The sound moderator compresses noise and prevents sound expansion by up to 52% when compared to an ordinary muzzle report. The whisper technology is already recognised by shooters worldwide. Now the term whisper appears to be trademarked but it doesn't look like it's patented which I'm not surprised about as it's basically just a barrel jacket and moderator moulded to the end of the barrel, uh, neither of which are really anything new. I have here a Gamo Delta Fox Whisper air rifle. Now this is a spring piston brake barrel rifle and I have made a full review on this gun so I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. Um, before testing this gun I did have a couple of reservations about the Whisper technology. Um, firstly that from a spring piston gun, especially a relatively low powered one like this one, most of the noise actually comes from the internal action of the gun rather than from the pellet leaving the end of the barrel. And secondly, because a good quality suppressor will actually cost you nearly as much as this whole rifle. Uh, after thoroughly testing this gun though, uh, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. I do genuinely think it is quieter than your average brake barrel rifle. Uh, but I do have a couple of slight lingering doubts. <coughs> uh, partly because uh, I don't know how loud this gun would have been anyway without the polymer jacket and the integrated moderator. And secondly, because there is so much plastic on this gun, I wonder um, how much actually maybe some of the sound is already dampened by that. So what I'm going to do today is uh, using a decibel meter, or at least a decibel meter app on my phone, I'm going to measure the muzzle report uh, from the gun as it is. I'm then going to cut the moderator off, strip all the plastic off the barrel, and then uh, me measure the sound again to compare the volume. So I've got the rifle set up on a rest with a microphone close to the end of the muzzle and I've also put some foam to block the sound from the internal action of the gun uh, so that it doesn't interfere with the test but that being said uh, if it still picks up the mechanism of the gun it's not too big an issue as if that's louder than the muzzle report it does give a pretty clear indication of the effectiveness of the whisper technology anyway so I'm going to reset the uh, decibel meter and then give it a go To give it a fair test, I fired 10 shots, uh, the results of which you can see here. Now they were all either 61 or 62 decibels, which gives the average volume over 10 shots as 61.8 decibels. And to give you some context, that's about the level of a normal conversation, uh, music or television at a normal level, or the lower end of the volume of a vacuum cleaner. Now I know that doesn't mean a lot in terms of air gun volume, uh, but I'm not going to compare it to another brake barrel as all guns vary and they're all different volumes so it wouldn't be a very conclusive test. So as I said earlier I'm going to compare it to itself by removing all of the whisper elements. Uh, I was however concerned during that first test that the uh, internal action of the gun was the loudest thing I could hear so it may have been picked up by the microphone. 
So because of that I am actually also going to measure the volume of the internal action to compare it. So the internal action of the gun was very marginally louder, uh, all 10 shots ranged between 62 and 64 decibels with the average being 63.2 decibels. Now it may be that the muzzle is just slightly quieter than the action but I'm actually leaning towards thinking that I was probably picking up some of the noise of the internal action during my first test but that as I moved the microphone the other side of the foam and closer to the action in the second test it just picked it up slightly louder. I've now removed the barrel from the rifle and taken the sights off, ready to remove the whisper elements of the gun. Now first of all I'm going to uh, start by cutting off the moderator. Now I've already measured uh, where the actual metal barrel ends inside there and I've marked that so I don't accidentally cut into that. With that cut off you can see the end of the metal barrel in there. I'm going to put that in the vise and start to strip that plastic or polymer jacket off of the barrel. Here you can see the rifle without the moderator or the polymer jacket. I guess this makes it the Delta Fox rather than the Delta Fox Whisper. Uh, I know it may seem like a shame to irreparably damage this gun, but sometimes you need to make sacrifices in the name of science. Uh, but in all seriousness, this gun wasn't in the best condition and I only paid less than £20 for it, and I no longer want it, so I'm going to keep the barrel for a project and then sell the rest of the parts. I'm now going to measure the volume of another 10 shots, this time without the Whisper technology. The average volume of the muzzle report over 10 shots is now 61.4 decibels, which is basically no different than with the Whisper technology. In fact, it's marginally quieter now I've removed the moderator and stripped the plastic off the barrel, which I am surprised at, and of course makes me question the effectiveness of the Whisper concept. Now we've seen that the Whisper technology doesn't really make a difference, I thought it would be worth opening up the moderator to see what's inside. Now I should say first of all that even when brand new out of the box, the Delta Fox Whisper only has a power of around 5.5 foot-pounds, so there just isn't enough high pressure compressed air travelling up the barrel behind the pellet to make a big enough noise a suppressor or a moderator is required. Uh, but even if it did need one, this one probably isn't going to do a lot. Now this was just moulded together in two halves, so I've already cut it open for you to see a cross section. As you can see it is very small and wimpy and is just made out of very cheap plastic. Now the first section of inner plastic casing here is the same diameter as the barrel so there's no real expansion chamber there. Now it does then have three baffles which are angled backwards to help divert the air into these chambers but they are very small chambers. I know I said earlier that I wouldn't compare it to another rifle but I think the test has been so inconclusive that I'm going to have to compare it to another gun. I have here my Remington Express, uh, which like the Gamo Delta Fox Whisper is also a brake barrel rifle in 177. So I'm going to test the volume of that and I'm going to be using the same pellets, which I don't think I showed you earlier on. They are just 8.1 grain Bisley Practice wad cutter pellets.
As you saw, I tested the volume of both the muzzle and the internal action. Now, I'm not sure how well the microphone on my camera will have picked it up, but the Remington is definitely a louder gun than the Gamo. Now, I haven't recorded it and worked out the averages in the same way for the Remington, because that's not really the focus of the video, but the decibel meter confirmed the volume difference. Now, the loudest shot I recorded from the Gamo Delta Fox Whisper was 64 decibels, which was from the internal action, and the loudest from the muzzle was just 62 decibels. Now compare that with the Remington Express, the loudest shots I recorded even from just the muzzle of the Remington were over 70 decibels. So there you've seen what I hope you'll agree was a thorough test of Gamo's Whisper technology. Now Gamo have definitely made a relatively quiet gun here, but I don't think it has anything to do with the polymer jacket on the barrel or the integrated moderator. Whilst it was quieter than the Remington Express, which I think is actually quite a loud spring gun, it was nowhere near the 52% quieter that Gamo state in their figures. The moderator was just cheap plastic and largely ineffective and as I said earlier on, on spring piston guns the main source of noise isn't the muzzle, it's the internal action and that is the case on the Delta Fox Whisper. Uh, I suspect Gamma have just covered the gun in cheap plastic to save on costs and then just tried to package it in a positive gimmicky way. So thanks for watching, hope you found the video interesting, uh, if so be sure to like, comment and subscribe to the Air Armoury and until next time, keep your arms in the air.